if y equals 3x minus 1 times x squared plus 4x plus 3 is expressed as y equals uv, find a, b, and c. Now, you will not get this very often where they're actually leading you to the question. So I'm going to show you how to do it if you only see this in a normal condition. So I'm going to have y equals 3x minus 1 x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now we can see that this doesn't look like this rule. So I can't reply, I apply it. In the 11 what we could have done is we could have get rid of the bracket but they say we have to use it as the form u and v. What I'm going to show you is that we have here a product. It is this bracket or this function multiplied by this function. So we've got two functions that we multiply with each other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write that let u equal one of them. So let u equal 3x minus 1. And I'm going to say and v equals the other one, x squared plus 4x plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the derivative of u, and the derivative of u is du dx. So the derivative of this is 3, and the derivative of v equals 2 goes to the front, it becomes 2x, plus 4, this falls away. So remember what I have here now is we have u times v. Okay, and my rule says, and this is my product rule because I have the product of two factors, I'm going to say the derivative of u equals, and I'm going to write it down as a rule, the derivative of the first one times the second one plus the derivative of the second one times the first one. Your textbook has swapped these two around. I like to use it in this way because this is the way that the quotient rule also is given. And that's why I like to do it in the same manner. So it's the derivative of the first times the second, the derivative of the first, or the second times the first. And all I do now is I substitute these values in there, which means the derivative of u, the derivative of u is 3, times v, and v equals x squared plus 4x plus 3, plus the derivative of v, which is 2x plus 4 times u, which is 3x minus 1. I'm going to simplify now. So the 3 will be multiplied into both. So we'll multiply the 3 into all of those terms. It's going to give me 3 times x is 3x squared plus 12x plus 9. And in this case, my I'm going to expand the brackets. The distributive rule. So I'm going to say 2x times 3x is positive 6x squared. My two middle terms, this is minus 2x plus 12x will give me plus 10x. Plus 4 take uh, times negative 1 is negative 4. I'm going to now collect my like terms. 6x squared plus 3x is 9x squared plus 12x plus 10 is plus 22x, plus 9 take away 4 is plus 5. How does that relate to the question? Well, we've written, we've written u and v. We said that's u and that's v. So this is question A. So that's part of question A. Then B was write du dx. du is the change in u over the change in x the u dx so this is part this is question b and that is part of question b because that is dv the change in v over the change in x so that's part of b and then using c which is this rule that is how it's relating to the question